I think investors are excited about the fact that there are lots of buying opportunities for secondary buyers right now. The secondary market is a marketplace where buyers buy secondary LP interests in private equity funds. In short, what we're doing is providing liquidity to an otherwise long-term illiquid asset class. I'll use an analogy. There are multiple ways you can buy a house. One way is to buy it off a blueprint. There's just land right now. You have a developer. They'll tell you exactly how this house is gonna look, but at the end of the day, you don't know and you won't know until that house is built. As a secondary buyer, we wait till the house is built. We will walk the neighborhood, tour the home, and then we'll try and buy that house at roughly 80 cents on the dollar of what everyone else paid for their home in that same neighborhood. That's what a secondary is. When I think about the current state of the secondary market, I, I'm very optimistic. The growth in the secondary market is driven by the growth in the primary market. The primary market has grown significantly over the last 20 years. The number of primary dollars committed to private equity funds since 2009 has increased fourfold. And so as that primary market grows, we expect many of those sellers to ultimately see their way to the secondary market. When I started, the overall secondary market was 1.4 billion in size. This year, we expect it to be 140 billion in size, a 100-fold increase. Scale gives us the ability to do the largest transactions. And at that end of the market, the competitive field is much narrower. Today, we're invested in over 5,500 unique funds managed by over 1,700 different GPs. We believe we have more relationships than anyone in the market and frankly gives us a huge advantage as a counterparty, as a buyer. This is a very specialized skill set. You need lots of information and people that have the judgment to apply that data to real life examples.